This is the reinforced structure that was built around reactor four. So I'm still having a hard time wrapping my mind around CBC is fake in building four. Because there's, they, they say in the video there's three melted reactors. For as complicated as that mission is inside reactor four, it's nothing compared to what lies ahead in the three melted down reactors, which are still so radioactive that the technology to retrieve that fuel has not yet been developed. And so why would they talk about building four as being okay and everything looks good? We'll just go explore that. It's very bizarre uh, that they're doing that, but here we go. You can see he says that uh, they built a structure around it. And here's another shot of that structure from a different angle. And we zoom right in on building for itself. And you can see they eventually got the top off it and they got the structure sitting up against it. Now that building was sprayed with projectiles from unit one two and three when they detonated but unit three was right alongside of it and it was mox fuel two million times more deadly than the other or any other reactor on the planet and so here's a closer one you can see this thing is still they can't get in there with cutting tools they can't get in there with scaffolding and do something okay it's contaminated for hundreds of years but anyway it's interesting let's go the and uh, listen to it blew off its roof and sent debris flying into this pool filled with nuclear fuel it's here where tepco removed debris. now this is what it looked like see that that's looking in at the pool here's a closer shot these shots are from tepco's website now here's a look at what he's showing you. That's what CBC, CBS just showed us. But here's what the pool actually looks like. And that's full of carcinogens. This was take by, taken by remote control uh, just after uh, the accident. And you can see what CBS is showing us, what Seth is showing us as unit four. And that doesn't add up. You can't actually physically get in there and work uh, without dying two weeks later at, if you're lucky to live that long um, a piece of it is so toxic if I had it alongside me it would kill me of the rods that are missing and that were detonated right alongside of it and sprayed that entire building with projectiles and so this is why uh, I'm just trying to wrap my mind around what the hell is CBS up to because has anybody actually explained to them what these buildings are like has anybody actually showed him the actual footage of the building so he could verify it so it's kind of a staggering that he's still perpetrating it when we know the pool is went dry we got lots of evidence of that there was fires at that pool which meant the zirconium cladding uh, burnt off and so that was so toxic you can never get back in there but here's Seth inside of it with his camera crew now starting to slowly retrieve the 1500 fuel rod assemblies stored in this pool. It's a painstaking process that's essential to shuttering the reactor. All of this work is taking place underwater because the water acts as a shield for the radioactivity. Uh, Unit 4 had major impulse sound. I mean, it felt the shock 25 miles away, 25 kilometers away by an AP reporter. But Seth is going to you know, sell this as being functional and that everything is good. I mean, has anybody even showed him a picture of the building? Has anybody showed him the pictures of the pools? You can't get in there, into those pools. This is, uh, it'll boil the skin off. You can't get in the building. It's too toxic, even with all the gear on it, because of the x-rays and the neutrons, you can't get in there because the building was sprayed with plutonium and uranium. Uh, and of course, Reactors, that's what they run on. They don't run on cesium. They don't run on iodine. Even though that's a byproduct of the plutonium and uranium. And this was MOX fuel right alongside of This also had, a Unit 4 had plutonium into it. Uh, but here's Seth claiming that the building looks like that on the interior. Tashi Hara was working at this plant when the earthquake struck. TEPCO has been criticized right along that it's not able to handle this cleanup work. Do you feel that 
that TEPCO is equipped to do this? We've installed new equipment, he told us. Our mission is to do this right. Can't look like that on the interior with those great big detonations. I mean, it destroyed the building. Look at it. That's unit four. Here's what uh, the pool, one part of the pool looked like when you finally got a look at it. You can't get down there and pull all of that stuff up there. If you try to wiggle those rods, if you finally get at them, those bundles, and where they're broken, they release more noble gases back into the environment. But look how clean the structure Seth is showing us, CBS. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. And it has nothing to do with the actual building, Unit 4. You can see how close Unit 3 is to it. This was a 10-story building. It detonated beyond imagination, folks. This was a massive building with massive carnage. And it looks, you know, it's not the one that Seth is showing everybody. That's got nothing to do with Unit uh, 4. So why is he showing it to everybody? And they even take it so far as when Seth is leaving, he says he got a dose equal to an X-ray. Before being escorted out, we were checked for radiation levels just like the 4,300 decontamination workers who go through this every weekday. Decommissioning this plant is work that'll likely stretch on for 40 years. For CBS This Morning, Seth Doan, Japan. Now, the dose from an X-ray got nothing to do with uranium-234 and 235. It's got nothing to do with plutonium-239, 240, 238, 241. It's got nothing to do with the... Uh, the alphas, the betas, and the gammas that you're going to get from that site there. It's got nothing to do with the neutrons and the x-rays from the rods blasted all over the site from the detonation and the three melted cores right alongside of it. And I don't really understand why they're trying to hide the carnage that we know is going on at Unifor and disguise it as a normal pull when you got three melted reactors right alongside of it. It's the most bizarre thing imaginable, but there it is. And they don't deserve to be getting away with this. This is an outright, outrageous fabrication and an outright, outrageous lie and manipulation by hiding and disguising it and making people think there's nothing to worry about. That's uh, outright mass murder.